The dynamic crew is getting ready to head out. And we've got a pile more concrete moving in. Now I hope you're ready for this because it is one of those where in this video there is so much action it's hard for me to even keep up. So we're just going to go through what they got done starting with one of the biggest concrete pour days I think of this whole barn project and it's doing the scrape alleys. like that the last of the trim and a whole lot of concrete makes for a fantastic day well with scrape alleys in and all these footings we can lag some plates And we get the plates lagged and they'll be able to weld posts on. Basically, how they're doing this, we can look so plate goes on, plate gets lagged in, then they come along, they weld the post to that plate, and that way they can get them nice and straight wherever they need to, and then they run the rebar between all of it, and that acts as the ground, which you need to do for all the metal posts in the barn. So they'll connect all them together, and then they'll all get grounded in, which is nicely done. So, with a job like the scrape alleys now poured, I don't know what half the posts now up, 
I think the job will be get the other half up. And then the fun job is we get to tar the bottom of each of these posts. That's going to be our job, which I'm sure will be a thrill, but it's nice to be able to help get a job like that done because the tar then it'll act as like a sealant for every post. And that way, um, you know, when bedding, sand, straw, manure, whatever gets up against it, they're not gonna rot away. That's the idea. It sure didn't seem like very long ago when we were complaining about snow. And now we're hooked on and planting corn. I think we're gonna have a good week focusing on this for a little while. usual things never seem to get started the way you want to we found a mouse nest in the vacuum line can't say we've had that issue very thankful I called Jake to find out why we were having trouble on the seed count monitor why one of them was giving us so much problem in the vacuum wasn't working never thought a mouse nest could get in there so just things you learn in our second year of operation of this. Well, the good news is, we're flying again. Let's hope we get some acres in. Well, wouldn't want to have a field without a trouble. And we've got another trouble. The PTO just suddenly shut off randomly. Didn't know what was happening. So shut it off, turn it back on. It runs for five seconds, then shuts off. Runs for five seconds, shuts off. Like if I turn it off and on again. Googling it, it seems to think it's a speed sensor, which I think is here. I also notice, well, look. There, there's enough hydraulic oil. I wondered if maybe we were running low. It's a little low, but you wouldn't think enough to shut it down. But maybe what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll let it cool. We'll get some hydraulic oil. And then we'll come back and try again, I guess. So hoping to get this field done tonight. That's looking optimistic at this rate. All right, one more thing to show you to do with the barn, and that is these walls going in. 
Another day means more concrete, which is awesome. And these walls act as kind of dividers between stalls or between cows or between crossovers somewhere. So they're hustling to get a few poured.